Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, aka Ash NYC, and I'm back today with a new video. probably tell the setup is just a little bit different than my beauty videos so we are in a kitchen because if you don't know I run a custom cake business called Cakes by Ash and YC and I make custom cakes, cupcakes, anything that you can dream of or think of I create. And I figured it'd be a fun addition to my YouTube channel to kind of bring that entrepreneurial creative side to YouTube. So what we're going to do today is a new series on my channel that I like to call Decorate With Me. I haven't really thought of what name I'm going to use just yet. But I think decorate with me works because what I'm looking to do is decorate some cakes with you guys. It won't be tutorial style, it'll be pretty chit chatty um, and just discussing different topics that, you know, we want to chat about. So I have my cake here, I have three layers of triple chocolate fudge cake here and I have vanilla buttercream that I've already made and mixed up. It's just ready to go on the cake. So I figured a really good place for me to start with today's decorate with me is to discuss my cake business and how it started, how it all happened, how we got to where we are now. So if you know me at all, <laughs> you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with dessert. I've always been this way. I've always been a chocolate cake girl. I've always been, okay, I'm going to save room for dessert. If I go out, I need to see the dessert menu. That's just my vibe. I love sweets and I've always been this way. My mother is actually the same way too. That's really who I got it from. I have this chocolate cake from Martha's that I'm absolutely obsessed with. If you guys have ever been to Martha's Bakery, then you know that uh, I think it's the seven layer chocolate cake is crap. The seven layer chocolate cake from Martha's is my business. That is the cake that I've been getting for my birthday since I want to say I was about 16, 17. So my family knows, everybody knows, I just love dessert. So I think it was February, it was a random Sunday in February. Um, of 2018 that I was like super craving strawberry cake. Mind you, I've never had strawberry cake before, so um, kind of a weird craving to have. But I wanted strawberry cake so bad, and um, obviously wasn't about to drive to Marcus. I don't even know if they actually have that flavor, but I did have some strawberries in the house. And I'm like, you know what? Let me make it. Let me see if I can actually bake a cake. Uh, it's not that I've never baked before. My mother bakes all the time. It's not that it's it hasn't been done, but I just was like, you know what? Instead of going to get like a strawberry box cake or like going to get something else, I was just like, I want this particular cake and I want it to be homemade and fresh. And so I made it. I made it and I just felt, I found the recipe online. I want to say the first recipe that I followed was from Sally's Baking Addiction. She has incredible recipes, by the way. If you are a new baker, a first time baker, first of all, I must give you guys all of my secrets in these videos. All of my secrets. But um, if you guys are first time bakers or you want, you need recipes that you can try, I would recommend searching. Betty Crocker has good ones. Doing cake on camera is quite challenging, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I do this all the time and I'm just getting so nervous. But anyways, so I made the strawberry cake. It was super, super good. I shared it with my friend and the following week, her family was having like a dinner. She's like, can you make the strawberry cake again? I'm like, girl, sure. So I just kept baking week after week, just like trying new recipes, trying new flavors. Um, not exactly testing recipes, but I would go online and I would just find something that sounded good. And I would get the ingredients and I would make it. I started with regular cakes, cupcakes, etc. And then I moved on to like pies. Um, I tried cinnamon rolls, different flavors with cinnamon rolls. And I just kept going. I would give it to family. I would give it to friends. They absolutely loved it. I was just at that point doing this for fun. Just baking for fun. Having, you know, having fun with it. My friends and family would be like, hey, can you um, bake this cake really quick? I'd be like, sure. Why not? I'm not doing anything. It's a Sunday. Um, I probably already have the ingredients in my fridge. Let's go. People asked me for cakes quite frequently, but at that point I wasn't charging. Um, I didn't need to. I didn't feel like that's something that I needed to do. If it was gonna be something that I didn't already have, I'd be like, okay, well, can you bring by some ingredients or can you, you know, send me the money and I'll get the ingredients. I don't wanna bake, I'll bake it for you. I didn't feel comfortable charging because again, I was just playing around. I was having fun with it. I wasn't looking to monetize it at that time. I was just, I don't know, having a good time with it. I found it to be fun and I enjoyed it. 
I'm just cleaning up the edges. So what I think we're gonna do for this cake is I wanna do like a pink cake with, first of all, pink is my favorite color, so we'll be doing a lot of pink cakes on here. Today, we are going to probably be doing a pink butterfly cake. I saw a picture online and I'm hoping to imitate it um, just to kind of, you know, do something fun, something interesting, something that I haven't done before, and just something that I can chat to. So, Popping this in the fridge and I'll be right back. The cake is chilled and I'm back. I dyed the buttercream pink. This is the pink that I'm gonna be using. I told you guys I have an obsession with pink. You should know that by now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make the second coat. So, as I was saying, I was doing it for fun and I think that is what the deciding factor was for me. Um, I didn't just go straight into, okay, this is going to be a business and I'm going to learn how to do this and I'm going to learn how to monetize it quickly so that I can make the most amount of money in my first year of, it wasn't like that. It was something that I was doing for fun, something that I enjoyed, something that I just, it was cool. I, I liked it and I liked creating, I liked to see the smiles on people's faces, I liked to see the shop, like, girl, I know you can bake, girl, me either. <laughs> me either. And I think that is really what kind of solidified things for me. I was doing that from February 2018 to about October 2019. So a full year and change. I was just having fun with it. Just having a good time, if you will. I was pretty good, I'd say, at that point. And uh, it got to the point where people were really asking me to create cakes for them. Not just like, hey, I'm having a little thing. Can you throw something together for me? They're like, no, I want a Mickey Mouse cake. And I'm like, oh. Oh, okay, that's where we are, cool. So I, again, wanted to take the appropriate steps. So what I did was, in October 2019, I did my first small sale. It was a cupcake sale, um, very simple. I think I offered maybe four to five flavors. I'll post my flyer so you guys can see it. Just very simple, very calm. I just kind of wanted to test the waters. Didn't want to overwhelm myself, but I wanted to see how things would run if I was to, you know, take this as a serious thing. I was doing pickups and drop-offs, girl. I don't do drop-offs anymore. But I was doing pickups and drop-offs um, in the five boroughs. I just wanted to see how things would go. And honestly, it went pretty well. <laughs> so because of that, I started taking serious orders. I started going beyond just my friends and family or friends of friends. It was complete strangers reaching out to me at that point because they either had my stuff or they found me on Instagram. I just started pushing my limits a bit more. I wanted to see what I could make um, that I hadn't made before. So a lot of the times I was taking the order because I hadn't done it before and I'd spend time practicing. If there was something that somebody asked me to do and I honestly did not know how to do it, I would make it my business to find a way. Their cake wouldn't be the practice cake. I would make so many different cakes just to practice for that one single cake that that customer paid for because I wasn't about to just try it for the first time with them. I was building clientele, so I felt like every impression was a first impression and everything I did, I was going to be judged off of that first impression, so I never ever wanted to disappoint. And it's something that my mother always said too. She always says, um, I believe it's about verse. Don't tell me mommy. Study to, to show yourself approved. Um, I would take the time to go on YouTube and to go online and to find and try to six different kind of ways for me to make this one thing just to see what was best. I wasn't just going to give them whatever or give them whatever because I was at that point or I was just starting. I felt like every single thing that I did had to be up to par for what I would want for myself. That's really one of my tips to you. If you're going to start something, practice everything. Try everything. There is always a better way to do something. I'm constantly, even now, I'm years in, and I'm constantly still in this learning stage of like, okay, I did this this way for this many years, but is there a better way that I can do this? Gonna pop this in the fridge, and I'll be right back. So the cake is still in the fridge. I gave it a third coat just to have it clean and nice. But I did that off camera because um, you guys don't want to be here all day. I'm just going to prep the decoration really quickly. So I have this jar here that I just use to help guide the frosting into the piping bag. I find that to be really helpful for me. I've always done it this way. If there's a, you know, an easier way to do it, then of course let me know. But yeah, just jumping back into the story. So it was all fine and dandy until March 2020. And if you know, you know. 
Coronavirus came in like a wrecking ball and I shut down my business. I felt like that was the most responsible thing to do at the time. I didn't want to have contact with people. I'm sure people didn't want to have contact with me. So I just kind of put everything on pause and um, I opened back up for business May of 2021. My return to baking was the Mother's Day sale of 2021. And I'm telling you right now, I will not forget it. I will never forget it. Sorry, quick banging. I opened up for a Mother's Day sale. I was doing simple six inch drip cakes, nothing crazy, nothing special, but the amount of orders, the overwhelming amount of orders that I received that month was beyond anything that I could have ever imagined. Um, I believe I did 24 cakes that day, which is insane. I'm one person, I bake out of my kitchen, I have no industrial oven, I did everything in my home that day, and honestly, ever since then, it was up and it was stuck, okay? I have been taking orders non-stop, I'm usually booked out at least two, three weeks in advance, I'm beyond blessed. Um, to say the least. I also have a full-time job. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but I have a full-time job that requires my time, nine to six, Monday to Friday, and my actual cake doesn't get baked until the evening and doesn't get you know, decorated until the weekend. And if I do take week orders, like it's all done in the night. But I say that to say, that when you truly enjoy something it really doesn't matter like it doesn't matter when you have to do it it doesn't matter how tedious it is or how difficult it may be i honestly at the end of the day enjoy doing it and you know what when i don't enjoy doing it i'll stop that'll be it no more cakes by ash in my seat but for right now it's not even about like the money or anything like that it's about my customers, my clients, they love it. I love creating for them. I'm a self-taught baker who invested in myself. No outside investors, nothing that, no money came out of the sky. Everything that I did, I did with my own money, my own time, my own effort. And I take so much pride in that, that when I get return customers, which is the majority of my customer base, I always find pride and joy in saying that I made this baby's gender reveal. We revealed that he was a boy. And then the mother came back with a baby shower cake and I did a baby shower cake. And um, the baby recently just turned one. And I did the, the one, you know, the, the, the first birthday cake. And that's something that I take so much pride in to say that I have a strong clientele. I have a strong customer base that really, really rock with me. Sales, they rock with me. Birthdays, anniversaries, everything, they rock with me. There's I had to get really low for this one because I'm about to pipe and I need the cake to be like parallel to my hand if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple rosettes. I know that you guys may not be able to see it over there because I'm right handed girl. But um, I'll have additional clips from another angle that you guys can see it up close. have gotten a lot of really cool recognition and opportunities. I've catered for Complex before. I've catered for their multicultural event. I've catered for a bunch of different events. I've created for celebrities. I made little tech of graduation cake. There's a lot of cool things like that that I take pride in that I think are really cool for somebody that's self-taught that, you know, is really just vibing. <laughs> Figuring it all out. Um, I take a lot of pride in that and I'm super proud of that. And I'm really excited to see where it goes from here. It gets pretty messy on this table, I'm not gonna lie. This is how my kitchen looks when it's cake time. So this is just one cake that I'm doing. So imagine when I have five, six, seven cakes in a day, it's chaos. Um, but I just wanted to pop some butterflies in there. I feel like it'll be pretty. These are actually not edible, but I cleaned them. Um, they're plastic, so you would have to remove them before you know consuming sometimes i will use edible sheets but just for my purposes today this is a demo cake by the way meaning i'm only doing this for you guys so that's why i don't like have a mask or i'm talking over it or like i have gloves on it's never going to be that kind of a situation just for sanitary purposes i'll, I'll never be chit chatting over a cake like this but it really is just for us and for our purposes today 
Well, this is the final product. Thank you guys for decorating with me. I hope that you enjoyed. Just me talking about how Cakes by Ash and Mikey started. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that I have fun with. Um, so I hope this was cool for you. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me to bake more. It's really hard to decorate and talk and do all of that stuff, especially when you're like me and you're a super perfectionist. But it was fun. I enjoyed it and I hope that you did too. If you did, please leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up because I need the positive reinforcement. Like my channel is fairly new. So anything that you guys can help me out with in terms of what do you guys want to see, we can absolutely do this. If you like this series, I'll keep them coming. I'm thinking we can maybe talk about marketing or um, just how to build clientele. If you are somebody that also has a small business, building a strong clientele is so freaking important. So we can talk about that next. If that's cool with you, just let me know below. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.